Number 26. Convert the values of KC to values of KP or the values of KP to values of KC. And then we have letter C. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite this formula um, just to make it a little bit easier to use. I have CaCl2, and that's a hydrate with six H2Os. That's a solid. This comes to equilibrium with CaCl2, that's a solid as well, plus six H2Os. And that's a gas. Okay, so I'm just going to make this a little centered. Beauty. Okay, so they gave me the KP formula, or not the formula, but they gave me the value for the KP. So in this case, I have to convert values of the KP to KC. So I just have to convert from KP to KC. How do I do that? Well, we're not going to actually convert, right? Whenever we say convert, we usually use dimensional analysis, but not here. We actually have a formula. Thank goodness. The formula that converts from KP to KC is this formula. So I'm going to put this over here. We're going to mark it up a little bit, and then we're going to do the math over here. So let's work from left to right and write down everything that we know. They gave us a KP value. They told us that that was 5.09 uh, times 10 to the negative 44. Okay, cool. Now, we want to find out the KC value, so I'm just going to say, okay, that's the X value. I'm solving for X. But now comes the RT and the delta N gas. R is a universal gas constant. For this formula, it's always going to be 0 0.0821. So you just got to memorize that. That will never change for this formula. T is temperature, but it's in Kelvin. Here they gave us the temperature in Celsius, so I have to convert that, Kel that Celsius temperature into Kelvin. How do I do that? Oh, from Celsius to Kelvin, all I do is just plus 273. So 25 plus 273 is 298. So that's the number that I'm going to use here, 298. And now here comes something pretty new. We have to raise the RT to the delta N gas. Now the delta N right, is just a fancy way for saying a change. In this case, it's all the moles of the gas of the products minus the moles of the gas of the reactants. Remember, N is the letter they use for moles. But they're very specific. It has to be a gas. So just go back into the formula and check off what we can use. But here is a solid, oh boy, I can't use this. This isn't a gas. So get rid of the whole thing. Goodbye. Same thing goes for the CaCl2. That's a solid. So no one cares. And finally, I have a gas here. So I have to use this information. So let's just tally up the total number of gases on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. Since I literally have no gases on the, on the reactant side, I have zero uh, moles of gas. Now for this side... I'm not going to take this into consideration, but I do see that I have six moles of the gas on the product side. That's the only one, so this will equal six. So the products was a six minus the reactants, which was a zero. Six minus zero is six, and that's the number that I'm going to raise the RT to. Now we have everything, so let's just plug it all in. KP was 5.09 times 10 to the negative 44th, and this equals the KC, which is what we're solving for, times it by RT, so 0 0.0821 times 298, close it up, and then we're going to raise it to the 6. So I would do parentheses first, and then you raise it to the 6th, right? So I got 5.09 times 10 to the negative 44th, this equals the KC value, and then let's see, what do we get? 0 0, 0 0.0821 times 298, I get a pretty big number, I'll keep it pretty consistent, 24.4658, and that's all raised to the sixth, so let's do that now. So maybe what I can do 
Look at that, guys. This is the same, right? And now 24.4, so I'm going to raise that to the sixth, right? Whoa, big number. So I'm going to try to keep it as many numbers that I can. 2.14465 times 10 to the 1, 2, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And now I want to solve for the x, so I get rid of the 2.144.65 times 10 to the 8th, divided on both sides, 2.144.65 times 10 to the 8th. This goes bye-bye. See you later. And remember, the x was equal to the kc, right? So this equals the kc. And then let's find out what that number is. So 5.09 times 10 to the negative 44 divided by this big number. And I'll leave it at three sig figs because this is the actual number. 2.37 times 10 to the negative 52. Now keep in mind, oh, maybe just, let me just clean this up a little bit. Okay, keep in mind, remember what these K values mean. These are just like ratios to just say that, you know, these are very, 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 very small, which means that at equilibrium, you are going to have all of this, I mean, roughly all of this, and none of the products made, or very, very, very little of the products made. All right? So hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. That will help us out tremendously. And I hope you all are having a great day. All right? So let's keep studying hard. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.